Okay, this is the second video in the series Digitize Your Books, where I show you my tips and techniques in digitizing your wood pulp based paper library into digital PDF formats that you can take with you anywhere on your tablet device. In this, I'm going to talk a little bit about the scanning equipment. You are going to need a scanner. Now, when I first started scanning my library, I was using a a little bit older uh, Samsung combination printer and uh, scanner device. It worked fine, but it was somewhat slower. I've upgraded to the Epson ES200. This is brand new. It was, I think, just released uh, this year. And let me say in no uncertain terms, I love this scanner. This is not a paid endorsement. There are no affiliate links. I am telling you my honest, unabashed opinion. I love the scanner. Let me tell you why. Number one, fast scan speed. If you're just scanning a couple of pages of receipts or whatever, it's not that big a deal if it takes a little bit longer. But if you're trying to scan an entire book or perhaps an entire library of books like we're trying to do, speed is everything. Um, the other thing I love is not only does it scan the pages fast, and I'll show you that in a second, because it's USB 3, it also uploads the data to your PC or Mac computer extremely quickly, assuming you've got USB 3. So because this is a USB 3 device, it scans fast and it uploads fast. It really is no longer the bottleneck. Scanning was the bottleneck in my process. It no longer is. So let me just give you an idea of how fast it scans. Uh, by the way, beautiful. It's a portable device. This is the ES200. Uh, which is a strictly USB device. There is a model, I think it's the ES300, which has Wi-Fi and a battery, so it's completely portable. I didn't need that, so I saved a, a little bit of money and got the 200. Uh, you open it up, open up these little paper guides. This is just a this is just an amazing work of art. And let me just take a, a section of uh, pages to scan here, just to get, so you can get an idea of scan speed. So you take your pages, which we prepared in the last video. These are now just ready to be sheet fed. Put them in there. Start my scan program. Put the keyboard out of the way. And we're done. So that was, just as an example, that was just four sheets. It scanned those sheets duplex. It scanned both sides on one pass. So I'm done. I've just scanned four sheets, but eight pages of the book. Uh, so what I like to do is uh, I'll grab about typically five or six sheets just to sort of do it in batches as I'm going and uh, sort of build it up, uh, build up the scan as I go. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain more about software in the next video. So in summary, you're going to look for a scanner that can do duplex, whether it does it the way this Epson does, which has literally two scan heads, one scanning each side of the page as it passes through, or using a more traditional old-fashioned scanner where it actually has to double feed the page the second time to scan the, the other side. But duplex scanning, hugely important. So duplex scanning, scanning both sides of the page, and UBS3 so you can get the data out of the scanner and into your software extremely quickly. Those are the two things you're looking for. And like I said, I've been real happy with this Epson ES200. Really great job so far. It's just wonderful. I love this. This is a great addition to my digital tool set. We'll see you in the next video.